Similar to the ninja choke, a baseball choke is another choke that you can utilize with the gi on that also keeps you in your current position. So again, if you at any point lose the choke, you're not necessarily giving up your position and you can easily convert either to another dominant position or even start applying other chokes from that situation, which we can go over later. But for the baseball choke itself, again, as always, start with a nice good cross face, get a lot of good pressure in here. I, at this point, you are going to have to utilize their own skirt for this one. So if during this process, once they start kind of pushing off your face again, this is usually a good sign because that means they're not keeping this elbow nice and tucked. So as they start pushing, I'm now going to take again my free hand and you can even switch your hips if you want to or just stay in side control, your preference. But I'm gonna take that free hand, start undressing the skirt and I wanna shoot it out away from him a little bit just to give myself as much slack as possible. Now again, if he is still pushing and trying to recompose off your face a little bit, I'm going to utilize that opportunity because now there's all this open space here and I'm going to punch the lapel all the way through and feed it to my cross face hand. Now again, once I get this, me personally, I like to pull on the lapel and start driving my shoulder a little bit just to put a little bit more pressure on there. It kind of loosens up this hand a little bit, but again, it gives me now an opportunity to shoot this hand through without having to worry about him defending it too much. Now, obviously, I'm not necessarily gonna be able to grab this lapel because I just tightened it, so at this point, you are going to have to punch your cross face hand through, which is totally fine. Now I can lock in and get my baseball grip. So again, it's just the idea that you are like grabbing a baseball bat. Now the choke itself, is the idea that I'm bringing my elbows together so you're kind of like chopping at the head, but I'm bringing my elbows together, keeping it nice and tight again, like you're holding a baseball bat. But what do I know? I never played baseball. But when you're in this position and I'm grabbing this, you can, yes, finish the choke from here, especially again, if he's still pushing, defending however he wants, that's fine. Tuck your head a little bit, drive these elbows through and pick up the head and you can still kind of get the choke finished from there. Or another option is you can take your outside leg, post up on that leg a little bit and lean towards their hips and again, finish the baseball choke. Now me personally, especially when it comes to competitions, I'm gonna be a little bit more of an asshole when I do this choke, which is completely acceptable. So when you get in this baseball choke position, one thing that I will immediately do is take my near side leg and instantly come up onto knee on belly. So now I'm driving all my weight down onto their abdomen. I'm still applying the baseball choke. Now I'm going to lift up on the head, lean towards his hips a little bit and still apply the choke. So now not only is he kind of getting lifted a little bit, but I'm sucking the wind out of his abdomen and I'm also squeezing around his neck. So it is a little bit more asshole way to apply the baseball choke, but it still works. If let's say during this process, when you had the lapel, if he suddenly now drops that elbow so that you can't bring the lapel underneath, you can still utilize the baseball choke by coming over the top again. Lock the arm in place. Now from here, he can't defend it at all. So now I can easily slip my hand in and again, pop up onto the knee and belly and start applying the baseball choke. If at any point during this process, if you lose the choke, if I lose the lapel, if his arm gets out, if I do this and he pushes off my face or I can't get the arm in to begin with, fine. I just sit here on side control. I grab onto the cross face position. I can maintain this position here. If you were in the hip switch process and you were trying to do this and he starts kind of trying to fight you and come up, that's fine. Again, we can go north south and we can come right back. So again, similar to the ninja choke, it's one of those positions where I'm not necessarily giving up position in order to apply this choke, which works in my favor because I can remain dominant. And if anything, I can go to mount, go to north south, come all the way around to the other side. Or as I mentioned, you can easily switch into other chokes. So if this doesn't work, then maybe I can simply just let go of the lapel, stick my hand in behind their gi, and you can come around even for something as simple as a paper cutter. So you do have options that you can immediately feed off of the baseball choke, which again is another reason why I like to utilize this one so much. So give it a shot, let us know what you think.